just above the equator. That means regions which are very, very close to the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. You see, I am actually shading this with green. This entire region, as the angle of incidence is increasing, the intensity of sunlight would decrease and hence the temperature would also decrease. So therefore precipitation would also decrease and giving rise to tropical deciduous forest. So why tropical? Because it is still lying between the 0 degree and 23 and a half degree north and 20 and a half degree south. So the center is a tropical evergreen rainforest which is sandwiched between tropical deciduous forest on top and below. Now, as we move further up, very, very close to the Antarctic Circle, the temperature becomes miserably cold. Almost nine months of snowfall. So what type of vegetation or ecosystem you might experience it would be a temperate coniferous forest temperate condition the cold conditions so you see this orange shading and this orange shading both in the north and south represents the temperate coniferous forest now what is left behind this Portion which is close to the poles. Now you see the sunlight in the poles, they would just pass by tangentially. So when the light is just touching the poles and passing by, not striking it, so virtually the intensity of light would be absolutely negligible. Hence, the temperature would be extremely cold. So both in the north as well as the south, you see the sunlight is passing by tangential. Hence, there would be tundra, T-U-N-D-R-A, which is the cold Deserts both towards the North Pole and towards the South Pole. Now, I hope you all have understood one very important thing. The shape is playing a great role in variation of different type of climatic condition. Now, let's talk about the tilt. Now, if you look at this particular diagram, you see the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun and southern hemisphere is away from the sun. By virtue of the tilt, the northern hemisphere would experience summer and the southern hemisphere would be experiencing winter. So, therefore, you see, climatic conditions are governed by the shape of the earth, the tilt of the earth, which in turn governs different type of ecosystems on earth.